Has it, I mean, when did it kind of hit you that you were fighting at, at, a, at such a high professional level? Uh, you know what? It still hasn't hit me. <laughs> you know, I still, I still laugh. Even when I got the phone call from the UFC, I, I didn't even believe it. I'm like, you know, obviously, the first ocean, I get really excited. But I'm like, no, come on. And then, you know, kind of got the contract coming through. I'm like, oh, this, this is solid in here. I got the It's on paper now. But still, and then even in my fight, you know, every day it seems like it's a, you know, a new experience for me. You know, it's taking me to a new level. You know, I guess this is, this is the hottest you can get. It's, I'm, I'm, I consider myself very fortunate. And speaking of another level, I mean, you have a chance to reach the pinnacle now. Yeah. Just talk about your excitement, you know, being able to fight the champion in Ronda. Yeah, you know what? It was, it was a great, you know, as soon as I got that, you know, originally when I first heard, I was thinking I was going to fight another opponent. You know, they're like, mm, we'll give you one more opponent. So I was like, okay, you know, okay, let's start training, let's start getting ready. But then I had the phone call back, and they're like, no, 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 we're going to give you the time. I'm like, serious, you know, type of thing. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, that's awesome. Okay, but I gotta go back, get back in class. I gotta go start training. <laughs> Literally, I got off the phone. And I'm like, I'm going back into class. I'm gonna start training. But it was, you know, it's finally like, okay, this is everything that I've been working out to. This is a, a, my whole life and my whole career has been building up to this moment. And it's like, now, now you hit. It's almost uh, like you're going for your black belt. You're going to your black belt in MMA right now. <laughs> um. When you look at Ronda, you know, she's, she's had, I mean, she's dominated some fights, she had some trouble against this promotion, we'll get to your fight with promotion in a second. Do you look at her and you're like, she's beautiful. I mean, there's a lot of people talking all the hype. Yeah. Like, she's unbeatable, but I mean, you look at her as another fighter. Do you see you can, you see, I can expose this? Oh, of course. You know, studying your pony, you always see that, the weakness and, um, different positions, you know, keep, I'm like, ah, you know, if I was in that position, I would have did this differently. You know, it's obviously different when you get into a fight. She's a very tough opponent, and she's very good at capitalizing on your mistakes. But, of course, I see her as beatable. You know, uh, I wouldn't, you know, this is why I take the fights, because I see my opportunity. I see these moments, and uh, I think I, I'm going to be the one that's going to be able to, you know, capitalize on them. Is there a confidence? Since Liz, Liz was the one that almost took her out in the mm -hmm. first round, I think that was down in Anaheim. Yes, here. yeah. Um, and then you were able to go through the moose. You pretty much dominated that fight. Mm -hmm. How much confidence did you have to win into this? Uh, of course, you know, after coming off of any win, it, it gives you a bit of confidence, but that's not not to go as far as to cockiness because you can never be, you know, obviously I feel like I have a strong uh, ground game, which I don't think any of her uh, past opponents have had, but, you know, there's still, I, I'm going to push myself every single day, even if I think this could be an easy fight or this could be a tough fight, I'm going to train hard, I push myself. I'm going to look at those key moments in the fight and think of how I'm going to be able to capitalize it and put myself in those positions. Visualize the fight for me. Take, take me through what happens. Uh, pretty much. Well, we all know what's going to happen at the beginning of the fight. Uh, Rhonda has done the same thing every time. She charges right in. She's ready for the fight. You know, I think first opportunity I'm going to have, though, is that I'm going to be able to keep my space a lot differently. You know, and I can obviously see, you know, she's a world-class judo expert. She can get in that position, but I'm, I see myself being able to keep it more standing a lot longer than I think any of her, her past opponents have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure.